Right, welcome to Celtics. You should have in your email an invitation to this platform which will allow us to do script writing online um, using Celtics until the end of the um, semester, to be honest. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by going new project. We get given options. And what I'd like you to pick is stage play because that's what we're writing. Project name, that's going to be the name of, of the daughters, the name of your play or you can call it Willie Dennison's script. I don't care. Um, don't call it Willie Dennison's script unless your name is Willie Dennison. Right, then we're going to create project. It's going to create it, and then it's going to open it because it's magic. Uh, you've got the storyboard if you want it. You've got index cards where you can put um, different things in there. Uh, and then we've got the, the stage play button. So I'm going to click the stage play button. It's going to give me the spinning wheel of doom. It's going to give me a loading window. Nice. Yes, the excitement is real. Yep, we've got some things starting to appear on the side. Yep, it's at this point where we start thinking, if only our internet was slightly better. Yep, 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 there we go. So it's already filled in Act 1, Scene 1, um, because it knows that we're writing a stage play. This is at 200%, and I don't really care too much about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at what we've got. We've got the instruction up here that what we're now about to write is a stage direction. So the stage direction at this point is going to be uh, three uh, politicians dressed in 1900s black suits and witches hats, hats not hates, enter from stage left. I don't even know what side I want them to go to, but that's what I'm doing. Right. Okay. As soon as I've finished my stage direction, it's still saying stage direction up the top over here. Um, I can put in another one. Um, let's change it now to a character. So our first character is going to be uh, politician one. And now I've gone to dialogue. Right. I need to undo that. I've just forgotten that I'm so used to doing, you know, <sighs> character one, and now we're going to have dialogue. Uh, when shall we three meet again in thunder, lightning, or, or in rain? Question mark, because it's a question. As I hit enter, it'll come up and say character at the top, so I can have politician two. And then it will automatically go to dialogue. And what we're going to have here is we're going to have um, um, where the place upon the heath there to meet. Let's give that to the next one. Oh, let's see. It's starting to bring up now the names of the characters. So I can change that that way around if I want to. Now I've got my three characters and I never need to write their names in full again. With place upon the heath, there to meet with T Coco Coco Waru. Uh, oh, no, let's just check what we've got here. If I go up the top here and I can have uh, stage direction again, um, three politicians. Oh, I can't even spell today. Politicians laugh and cackle. Sound of thunder, flash of lightning. Um, so basically what we've got is that this, this here software is doing the formatting for you. As long as you keep looking up the top as to what you're about to do, the main important ones that you're going to need are going to be stage directions, character, and dialogue. It's going to remember the characters. So as soon as I need to go back and put in another character, here we go, character, and I start writing with a P, it's going to bring up all three of them. If I start writing a different one, it's going to remember that. So now when I put in there, oh, there's my parentheticals, so I can have an aside, for instance. I don't want to. Um, because I just want to go straight into dialogue here and say, yo, homies, because I have nothing for him to say at this point. Um, but the main reason for doing this is just so that if I now am back in character up here and I want to start 